So one thing I do, and I have spoken about this at length before, is um, I have got a strategy which is pretty advanced. So um, be mindful of trying this, but you can do a limited version of it. Let me just give, so I'll give, I'll give you the full version and then you do a limited version and you'll understand very quickly how to do a limited version. So full version is this. Um, choose 10 to 20 products that you want to put on Amazon that you think are potential winners on Amazon. Could be in any different category, could be in any different marketplace, could be anything at all. Doesn't need to be in the same niche, could be lots of different things, okay? Go to your wholesalers and source those 10 to 20 different products from wholesalers and buy 10 to 20 units of each product. So if I was going to sell balanced bikes, I would go and find somebody what sold balanced bikes wholesale and then buy 10 to 15 or 20 balanced bikes and then I would put them on Amazon and I would do the same thing for 19 other products as well. So I've got 20 products all listed at the same time on Amazon. As you can hear, it's an advanced strategy, uh, requires a budget to do it, but you can just reduce the numbers and you can do it too. So that's part one. Part two, I've now got 20 products that I'm selling, new products I'm selling on Amazon. So now I'm gonna see, I'm gonna drive some traffic to them, outside traffic, Facebook, Google AdWords, Bing, Amazon PPC, if I can use PPC on Amazon, things like that. And I'm gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna put it to the test. I've got no idea. I'm just gonna see what happens. So set up 20 different ad campaigns, send traffic, see what sells, see what doesn't sell. And then, pretty obviously, the things that sell, I keep. The things that don't sell, well, it didn't work. I'll try something else. Those things that do sell, and I've got potential to sell much, much more, I then either stick with wholesale and carry on wholesaling them, and uh, um, uh, that strategy is laid out completely in my wholesale buying course, or in my wholesale book, I'll show you those two in a second, or I then take that idea, so okay, well the balance bike that I purchased at wholesale sold really, really well. And I believe I can now create my own balance bike and set up a balance bike private label and make some money from that. So um, you kind of put the products to the test beforehand. Now, why is that a budget strategy? Well, you can take a simplified version of that which is the wholesale side of it, and just say, okay, well, I'm gonna get, I've got three ideas for three different products. I'm just gonna go to wholesalers in Australia and buy 10 units of each product. So that's probably gonna cost you somewhere around, depending on the product, of course, 50 to $100 per test, okay? 50 to $100 per test, and then I'm gonna put that onto Amazon and then I'm gonna drive some traffic to it and I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see what happens. And if it turns out it sells well, then I've got the choice. I can either carry on selling it as a wholesaler or I can private label it or I can do both. And of course you can do both if you want to. So, uh, Jocelyn, that's how you can do product selection on a budget. Product selection on a budget. Now, where do you get your ideas from? Well, you just follow my system that's laid out in the AOE training modules one and two, and that will give you oodles of ideas. Or if you want some help with that, you should definitely, definitely, definitely get a product discovery session with one of our coaches. You can find that advanced training info pages, find your first profitable product. It's right there. Find your first profitable product. and. You only have to go to Facebook group and Google that coaching and you'll see heaps of people 
have used that and done very, very well from it. Now, if you want to find out more about wholesaling, Amazon Wholesale Training, that's right there. I also wrote a book about it as well. Where is that book? That's on Amazon.com. It's a Kindle book, which means it is ludicrously cheap. And all you need to do is type in wholesale. And mine is number one. And of course, you'd expect it to be number one because I profess to be an SEO expert. But mine is number one. So you can either get the book, which is like, I don't even know how much it is. It's super cheap. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's like a, a buck. It's crazy, crazy cheap, okay? Ooh, title is not coming. Oh, I need to change that. So I must have altered that and taken it down to change my price. I'll get it back up for you. Or you can get the course. Either of those two things will, will, will work for you. And I'll get that live again and change and update the price on that for you. Hope that helps. But that's a strategy that I use all the time. It is an advanced strategy. It does require more money. But for me and the way I work, it works very well. Because I'm interested in launching multiple, multiple products across multiple, multiple marketplaces. It just works very, very well for me and the way I do things. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.